If you are experiencing any VPN connection issues on your Amazon Fire Stick with Surfshark, then this video is for you. Because in this video, we will provide solutions to various connection issues you may be experiencing. Before we start, in case you are unable to log into our app, check out this video here, where we saw login issues. And if tutorial helped you, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our awesome YouTube channel. Let's start with some basic solutions first, and that would be to try different VPN locations on our app. You will see various locations available from the main screen. I'd suggest trying the ones that have the least server load. This is indicated by this small bubble icon. If this doesn't help you, then the next thing to try is to change the VPN protocol. Different protocols may work better than others depending on your internet service provider. So to do that, navigate to the Settings tab and scroll down until you see Advanced Settings. Click Protocol. Here you will be able to choose from WireGuard, ITV2, OpenVPN, UDP, and TCP. I'd suggest trying each one from the top to see if that helps your connection. If changing the protocol didn't work, try disabling various Surfshark app features. Let's start with CleanWeb, which can be found in the Features tab. Simply toggle this switch here. Here you will also find Bypasser or Whitelister, depending on your app version. Disable this feature as well. Next, try disabling the VPN kill switch. Head back to the Settings tab and disable it here. Once that's done, try testing your connection again. OK, we're still on the basic solutions section of the video. So if you're still unable to connect, let's try restarting the Fire Stick and launching the Surfshark app again. To restart your Fire Stick, go to the settings, go right, select My Fire TV, and here just select Restart. Once your Fire Stick restarts, go back to the Surfshark app and try connecting. If that didn't help, we can also try reinstalling the app by doing the following. Go to the settings on your Fire Stick, select Applications, then select Manage Install Applications, then scroll down until you see Surfshark and click Uninstall. Now, download the Surfshark app again from the Amazon Store, log in, and try connecting. If all those changes did not help, then let's try some more advanced solutions. These will take a bit more time, but it's nothing too complicated. Let's start by changing your DNS addresses. This solution is extremely effective if your internet service provider is more restrictive. Let's begin by first going to your Fire Stick settings, then My TV, About, Network, and here we want to note down the IP address, gateway, and subnet mask. I recommend taking a photo with your phone as we will need these for the next step. After that, let's just go back to the settings, network, and select your Wi-Fi network. Now, click on the remote's menu button to forget this network. This will disconnect you from your Wi-Fi, but it's required to change the DNS. Now click on your Wi-Fi network again and enter your Wi-Fi password. After entering your password, don't click connect. Instead, click on advanced located at the bottom middle. Now we will need to enter the IP address and gateway values from the photo you took in the first step. And now the next window will request you to enter the network prefix length. Here, enter 24 if your subnet mask value was 255, 255, 2550. The second to last number can also be different, but if it ends with a zero, enter 24. If it ends with 255, enter a value of 32. Finally, we can enter the DNS we want to use. In this case, we'll be using Surfshark DNS. So for DNS1, enter 162.252.172.57. And for DNS2, enter 149.154.159.92. Now, just click Connect. That's it, you're all done. Now restart your Fire Stick and test if your connection improves. The other advanced solution that we could try is to disable IPv6 on your network. Now, just to make you feel at ease, this will not impact your network negatively in any way. Disabling IPv6 on your network will vary on your ISP and the type of router that you have. In this case, we will cover on how to do it on Asus routers. You will first have to log into your router, so open your browser and in the address bar, enter your router's default gateway address. This address will vary depending on your router. On screen now, you will see some of the most common router addresses. Pause the video if you need to check which one you have to enter. After that, you should see a login screen. If you haven't changed your default login credentials, try logging in with admin as your username and admin as your password. Also, try using just admin with no password. If these fail, try looking for credentials under your router. Once you're logged into your router, head over to the IPv6 section. If your router doesn't have this section anywhere, look for VAN and then look for IPv6 there. For Asus routers, you will have to select this menu and select Disabled from this list here and then press Apply to save changes. Now, just restart your Fire Stick and try connecting again. If all solutions failed, do not worry. We can still help you solve your issue by looking at your diagnostics information. 
To send diagnostics, open the Surfshark app, go to settings and scroll down at the very bottom and then select diagnostics. Click the send button and now just select the issue that you're having and we'll get in touch with you within 24 hours. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this video helped you solve your connection issues. But of course, if you're still having any kind of issues, contact your customer support team, which is available 24 seven. And if you want to learn more about Surfshark, subscribe to our YouTube channel or click on another video to keep watching. See you next time.